Today's adventure's bringing us to an exciting place. Can you hardly believe it? <laughs> We're in Las Vegas, Nevada at South Point. South Point? Yep, South Point Casino. Yep, and we're at the Mecum auction. They're having antique motorcycles here. Really cool. So we're going to show you a whole bunch of neat stuff today, and I think we're even going to get somebody to tell us a little bit about the history of this. Uh, actually, I didn't know a whole lot about the place, auctions. You know, I really don't. I used to do car auctions, but I, not anything that was high-end like this. But uh, let's go check it out and see what they got going today. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and think about Patreon. And you're on the Bob and Tam Show. Let's go. There. We have a special guest we're going to put on this Mecham auction. We have John Crayman, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the auction. Tam, we really appreciate your interest. This is an amazing event. This is, in fact, the world's largest collector car auction, period. It's an annual event, and can you believe it? This is the 31st annual event, and it has grown to be honestly a worldwide event. It's not just necessarily motorcycle auction, although that's what draws everybody. It really honestly is a celebration of motorcycles. And we're not talking one specific mark. Yeah, it's heavy on Harley Davidson's, it's heavy on Japanese classics, but we've got motorcycles you and I talked about that are here that we've never heard of. And we don't have to feel bad about it because they come from literally around the world. So um, it's an amazing event where the prices are really high. Interest right now during the pandemic era in fun things, things that we love and are passionate about are at an all time high and it's really driving the market. We saw some crazy prices and crazy bidding action with today's auction alone, one of six days of this auction, uh, the top seven motorcycles were all over $100,000 and our top seller was an early 50s Vincent Black Shadow that brought $220,000. Market's really strong. So how long have you been in the motorcycle? In, in part of it at the auction. I'm really lucky that I started with Mecham Auctions as a full-time part of the management team in 2006. We went on television in 2008 as the world's largest collector car auction company and we've grown that over the years. We've got 12 car auctions this year but only one motorcycle auction. It's this one and by coincidence I just happen to be just as much of a motorcycle junkie as I am of a car guy. So for me to be the lead TV commentator analyst covering all the action for me come on TV on Motor Trend um, it is a real thrill 15 years now doing this on TV and it's just all we do is sit back and talk either cars or motorcycles like we're hanging out talking to you guys that's what it's all about now besides on TV where else can they watch you do you have an online store they can go to or yeah and that's a really good question because a lot of folks say well I'm not home I can't watch TV or I don't get your channel Motor Trend TV uh, on cable or they don't have the Motor Trend Plus streaming service, okay. which by the way is a free trial right now. If you go to motortrend.com, you can watch the auctions on that. Or an insider tip, you can always go to meekum.com and you can watch our streaming. It's not our television broadcast, but it's gavel to gavel action coverage of all the motorcycles, all the cars, everything that Meekum does. We have a big full time staff of 20 people that are doing the live stream. No commentary for me or my team but you can watch the action you can do it for free you can just go to meekum.com click the watch now you're on and it's a I spend a lot of time in there myself when I'm not actually here at the auction and uh, if somebody wants to know how much the motorcycles went for how do they find out that information you know one thing that's I don't know if it's unique about us but one thing that we really like to do is make sure that we're transparent we want to make sure that people can use us as a resource to help determine maybe what a certain type of a motorcycle is worth so once again meekum.com you go in you join up to be what's called a my meekum member it's totally free no cost you sign up to that and that gives you access to all of the results and I'll tell you I'm not a, a motorcycle and a car guy but I'm not a computer guy and I'm smart enough to figure it out so anybody watching and listening here will be able to figure that out as well I invite everybody meekum.com sign up and you'd be shocked at how easy it is to sort through the search buttons two or three clicks of the mouse you're gonna be exactly where you want to be and what are the different ways they can bid if they're not if they don't happen to be here at the auction in person? You know, one thing that we've learned during this pandemic era, uh, going back to maybe about the first quarter of 2020, so it's been almost two years now, okay. is more and more of our customers 
well, everybody loves the live auction action, but more and more of our customers want to get involved with bidding, but won't necessarily travel or can't right now. So phone bidding has become a huge part of what we do, but even bigger growth, internet bidding. Online bidding right now represents about 20% of all of our bidding. If we go back to pre-pandemic, we're looking somewhere in the three to 5% range. Wow. That much of an increase. Again, Meekum.com explains exactly how all of that's worked. It's a great resource. Right. Do you have a program where unless somebody, somebody comes, they decide to get a bike, they weren't really planning on taking a bike home, do you have a way for them to get their bikes home? Yeah, yeah. You know, one thing that we find is folks will come in here, they'll buy a spectator ticket. It's 20 bucks in advance at Amica Auction, 30 bucks if you buy it at the day of the show. And they decide, you know what, there's something I want to bid on. They can go sign up as a bidder right on site. It takes about five minutes. We make it easy. I wonder why we do that. <laughs> but then there's a question is, okay, what do I do? How do I finance it? How do I get it home? We got you covered. At our Meekum service station, we've got folks over there they can talk to about financing options and also transport options. And that's true whether it's a motorcycle or a car. It doesn't make any difference. We've got the ability on site to be able to arrange that and get a quote within a matter of a minute or two. So what we want, because we're passionate car motorcycle enthusiasts, we eat, live, and breathe it. It's not just a job for us. We understand what it's like to be, but to be on the other side. Maybe to be a first-time attendee, first-time buyer at an auction, maybe the first time buying a collector motorcycle or a collector car. We understand that. So over our 35 years in business, 31 years doing the motorcycle auctions, um, we've strive to try to provide the best possible service and to make it easy. And I'll tell you, I think our reputation bears that out because social media is crazy right now. Good news travels really fast. Um, uh, all news travels fast. And so if if it wasn't a great experience, we wouldn't be experiencing the kind of growth. Um, just to give you an idea the kind of numbers we're expecting this year, calendar year 2022 was a record year at $550 million in the sales of motorcycles and cars. We're expecting to exceed that by at least $50 million this calendar year. It's crazy. The market's on fire and we're doing everything we can to try to accommodate everybody and have fun at the same time and try to dodge the virus and stay safe. That's right. So how many auctions do you have a year? We've got 13 auctions on our schedule this year, one motorcycle auction, always at South Point, which is where we're at right now, Las Vegas, Nevada, always around the third week of January. And uh, But we've got car auctions literally scattered throughout the entire country. There's not one section of the country that we don't cover. So, and, and, and once you have motorcycles there also, just not as not right. And for right, there. and for everybody that might be watching and listening that thinks, you know what, I got a motorcycle, I want to, so I don't want to wait until next year, that's fine. We also accept motorcycle consignments at our car auctions, and I'll tell you, they do pretty good. You know why? Because car guys like motorcycles too. I'm one of them. I've got seven collector cars, and I've got six collector motorcycles, and I'm not uncommon. Thank you very much, John, for your oh, time. Oh, well, thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs> Appreciate the interest. It was great to see you. I hope it Thanks a lot. gets together. You know, so this is kind of wrapping up some of the, you know, the videos that we got here from the auction. You know, this is pretty neat. You know, we got John to talk to us at one of the, you know, I don't know if it was in this video or the one before this one. You got to check it out and see what he had to say, tell you all about the history about this place. I said uh, their auctioneer service and uh, pretty exciting and very interesting. And we're probably going to uh, follow more of their events when we're in the areas and things like that. You know, the Las Vegas one's the biggest one. So uh, this year had 1750 bikes and they're predicted next year 1752. So awesome. not two, but also. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave you right here in Las Vegas at the South Point Casino and uh, Mecum Auctions. They do cars too, but we're only interested in the motorcycles. It wouldn't so, be bad to go to cars. Cause auctions are fun. You kind of get caught up in the action. So it's kind of neat to watch. Good thing I didn't have a bidding number. <laughs> anyway, subscribe to our channel, share it with your family and friends. Think about Patreon, give us a big thumbs up, ring that bell for notifications, and I'll see you on the next video. And the Pating Nation. We thank you for watching all the way to the end. See you on the next video. Bye. We're almost in Daytona. Getting there.